Hi everyone, I hope this finds you all happy and well and healthy. Um, we're going to talk about Black Diamond Block of the Month, month one demo. Um, before we start, I wanted to tell you that this fabric tends to fray a little bit more than other fabrics. Um, so I have a tip for you. If you have some best press or some magic sizing, then spray the front of your fabric press it and then turn it over and spray the back side of the fabric and press it and then do that before you do any cutting and it will help minimize the fraying. It will also help stabilize those bias edges because you're going to be cutting a lot of triangles and as you know those bias edges become stretchy and this will help those to not stretch as much and um, not make your blocks ski wonky. If you do not have either of these products, don't panic. You're just going to have to be careful when you sew those bias edges that you don't stretch them. So we're going to do two blocks for this month. This block is the very center block, and it is basically a pinwheel uh, block. You're going to cut from fabric D. Oh, I wanted to tell you that fabric is very well illustrated on the pattern so you shouldn't have any trouble figuring out which fabric goes where. I've also labeled that for you so you shouldn't have any trouble. Um, fabric D you're going to cut one five and a quarter inch square and you're going to cut it in half diagonally twice so you end up with the four triangles. The same with fabric J a five and an inch five and a quarter inch square cut diagonally twice. From those triangles you are going to form four of these units. You're going to sew a short edge together, always with this one on top, this one on the bottom. And then with those, you're going to place them with the background fabric. And you're going to cut two four and seven eighths inch squares there and cut them in half diagonally. When you are sewing this edge, remember it is going to be stretchy. So make sure you um, don't stretch it and make sure you sew a quarter inch seam. These blocks are not... Uh, blocks that you can cut down to the size you need. They are going to come out exactly the size you need, so be careful and make sure you sew that quarter inch. That is your center block. The other block we're going to make are these four star blocks. And these have a lot of triangles with a lot of bias edges. So this is where you really need to be careful. So you're going to cut from fabric D four four and three eighths inch squares, and those are going to be the center of your star block. Then from fabric G and H, you're gonna cut four two and seven eighths inch squares, and you're going to cut those in half diagonally and create this unit right here. Make sure that when you are sewing these edges, you're not stretching them. Um, a good tip for doing this is fold this square in half and press it, Fold it in half the other direction and press it. And then when you sew it, line up this point with that creased line. That will make sure that this comes out perfectly square. Okay, then you're going to make your flying geese units. And you're going to cut from your background fabric four five and a quarter inch squares. And you're going to cut it in half diagonally twice. And then your corner pieces are 16 two and a half inch squares. When you're making your flying geese, you need to be careful about where you're putting, you're placing your fabrics. There are four with J on the corners. There are four with M on the corners, four with M and J, and then four with J and M. And you have to make sure that you have four of each. And then when you put your block together, make sure that you've got those in the right configuration. Your pattern is very good at giving that illustration to know exactly where those all go. And that is it. Oh, um, this, when you sew these flying geese together, you're going to make sure that this point on the long edge meet, matches up with this point, And that this straight edge is along the straight edge of the bottom of that triangle. You're gonna have this extra point sticking up here and those extra points allow you to have your quarter inch seam so that when you sew your flying geese together that you do not cut off that top part. And that is month one. Happy sewing.